Hi guys, Sammy here, welcome back. So I was just shooting in my apartment when the door rang and a package got delivered. And I was actually waiting for a new bag uh, that I got for street photography. You know, something that is small and compact. And what I got uh, is the Peak Design Everyday Sling 5 liter. So as you can see, it's really small. And I just unpacked it and I will definitely make a review. Um, but I thought, why not doing the first impression right now? Okay, so here's the bag in black, really minimal, really small and simple. So one thing I was really hoping for is that um, the X100F with the WCL will fit like this in the bag. And it looks like it does, because, you know, some people prefer to have the camera um, like this, but I actually like it more sideways. Yeah, and it does. Nice. So I can now have my camera here fully set up and even have space for maybe I can even fit this camera here, the Canon M50. And I have enough room here for accessories. Um, this is where you can store like cables and uh, batteries. Yay! All right, so that was four months ago. Uh, this bag has now become my main street photography bag. And yeah, I really love this bag. Um, I use it on a daily basis. It's just the perfect size for a mirrorless camera, um, like the X100F for example. And you can carry a second camera, or maybe a film camera, and accessories, and maybe you want to bring a GoPro. Uh, it all fits right in here. Uh, but this bag is designed for just the essentials. So you have to really think about what you want to bring. Do you really need to bring a second lens or converter? Um, yeah, this bag forces you to be minimal. And I think being minimal and light on your feet on the street uh, is just ideal. So before that, uh, I was using this bag here. This is the Think Tank Retrospective 7. And I used this for almost 10 years now. Uh, and I also really love this bag, but it's just a bit too big. If I want to carry just my camera and a few accessories, uh, this is overkill, you know, I don't need to have this much space. So um, yeah, but now I have this and I can carry this a whole day without problems. And with this one, I had uh, pain in my shoulders uh, in like three or four hours. Now a short little disclaimer, um, this is not a sponsored video, uh, I didn't get this back for free, I bought this with my own money and I only review products that I personally uh, own and really like, so um, yeah, this is just my personal opinion. Now let's go over the features of this bag. Um, just from looking at the outside, um, there are not many pockets. Um, here's nothing and on the side there's no pocket. Uh, you only have this front pocket here, which uh, I think is for business cards and you can put your phone here. The outside material is a waterproofed synthetic canvas and the zips are also waterproofed as well. This bag is using a nylon strap. Uh, this is what you see in cars. The seat belts have the similar strap, so it's really sturdy. And it has three adjustment points, uh, two on the side here, like you do on a normal bag. You have this here where you can make this longer. And the cool thing about this bag is um, all the excess strap here, you can actually tuck it in here. Here's a small pocket and then you know, it's not in the way anymore. Super slick. The second adjustment point is this one here. This is a quick adjuster. Uh, I will demonstrate that later, but um, in short, you can really quickly shorten the strap or make it longer like that. The next feature I want to show you is this uh, locking mechanism here. So you can open this part of the zipper here and slip it through this loop. and close it back here. And now, if someone on the street wants to get inside your bag, uh, they cannot open it anymore because it's locked. Now let's take a look inside the main compartment. So this is how it looks inside. These two here are the stars of this bag. So let me take them out first. <clears throat> so these are called uh, flex fold dividers and this is kind of Peak Design signature uh, feature. First, they can just sit in your bag like this, but you can also fold them, you know, like this. 
So as you can see now I have extra space on top. I can put maybe a second lens here or if you have a DSLR for example, the grip can you know be here. And this one here is almost the same. So it can also fold like this. Uh, but it actually can also unflap this here. So how cool is that? So now um, you have a proper compartment for an extra lens or maybe here uh, you can put some accessories you don't need to access uh, immediately. Okay, now back inside we have um, two side pockets here. These are elastic pockets, so you can stretch them. Uh, I usually put uh, batteries here. Now on this top pocket here you have space for uh, SD cards and batteries. And they mark two of them here black and two of them red. Let's say you want to switch to a new battery. You can put the empty one here in the red pocket and keep the fresh ones here in the black pocket. Yeah, and you can put like charging cables here and this can also be uh, stretched quite a bit. So last but not least, we have this tablet sleeve here and it closes with a magnet. And Peak Design says it can carry a 10 inch uh, tablet, but I have a Samsung tablet that is also 10 inch that does not fit here, unfortunately. But I know that it can carry a 9.7 inch iPad. So I use this for notebooks, uh, a passport and documents and stuff like that. But lately I got another idea. Um, I made this small photo book here and it has some of my street photographs. Yeah, and I carry this with me just in case, um, for example, if someone asks me like, why did you take my picture? And I usually answer, um, I'm a street photographer. I do street photography and then I give them a business card uh, or tell them to check out my website or Instagram. But I think it makes more sense to show them like really a physical book and prints uh, to show them that you really care about photography or not like some creep who uh, post stuff on the internet and makes fun of people. Uh, you actually care about the people and you want to present them in a beautiful way. So I think, um, I think that's a good alternative to uh, regular business cards. So next I want to pack this bag like I would normally do on a day out of street photography. Of course, first the camera and I usually put it sideways like this here. And um, <laughs> I didn't prepare for this. So let's say I want to bring a film camera. I don't really use this, but um, let's say I want to carry this here. I can put this here on the side. Now next, um, maybe a dust blower. I don't know. I don't usually bring this, but I put it here. And yeah, like I said, my photo book right here. And... So, and here I have my uh, wide angle conversion lens. I really love this. You know what? Let's actually do this. Zack. So, you see, now I have space for this uh, conversion lens. And I have here an action camera. And you can see it's already pretty full now. So, let's say I want to put it in one of the side pockets. So, we have here space for the should come on. So now here's my action cam and uh, let's say I have some SD cards I will put them here. Now let's close this. So <laughs> I said I would pack it like I would normally do but but this is more than I usually carry. I, I usually only carry my camera and maybe a conversion and some batteries and that's it. Let's put on the back. So this is how you use a sling bag and you can quickly bring this to the front, access your gear here and I can quickly take the shot, put it back in my camera bag and I can you know switch lenses or change my SD card and I also like that when you open it, um, it opens like this so stuff cannot just fall out and with my uh, retrospective 7 here you open it that way because you are like this you know it's hard to it's hard to access your gear and sometimes stuff can fall and as you can see the bag lays really flat uh, on my back and it's really comfortable i don't feel much weight here what's also really nice is that um, because the strap 
can move in all kind of directions. There's some kind of metal here. And this makes it so comfortable to uh, wear this bag because it adjusts to your body. So any tension that is normally on other bags because uh, the straps are like fixed like this um, is gone. So I really like that. So now let's say you want to shorten the strap, make it more tight. Um, you can do that by adjusting this, of course, like any other normal bag. But Peak Design included this quick adjuster and it works just like this. You put your finger inside here and just... <laughs> so you put your finger here and then you can go down and make it smaller and tighter. For example, if you put your bag here to the front, you want it maybe up here. And it works the opposite way. Just pull here and make it longer again. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I, I really love this bag. I think it's the perfect bag for street photography, uh, in my opinion. And... Um, you know, I actually have a friend who has the same bag and he's in London right now, I think. And maybe it's a good idea to ask him what he thinks, um, just to get a second opinion. But I think I have to fly for that. Um, I will be back. And what, what do you like about this bag particularly? Okay, firstly, like the, the, the form factor, I think yeah. it's very uh, convenient. Yeah. And, uh, can you show it? Sure. You can easily grab it. Ta -da. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know this camera. <laughs> you know it? There you go. Yeah. Okay, so that's it? That's, that's it. it. Yeah. yeah, that's all I have right there. Are there any things you don't like about this bag? I mean, there's one thing I'm not so sure about. Mm. It's this. I mean, like if you look at the video on the YouTube they made, mm. like for the, the presentation, mm. it should be really easy, like to just pull and uh, grab and thing. Yeah. It's, there's some uh, resistance. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's okay. It's nothing really. It's yeah. not a problem. So let's say I want like to uh, loosen up. At one end, it's okay. Yeah. But if I want to tighten up, I need to, mm, you hands, know, because. Yeah. It, this is too, too tight. There. Yeah. There you go. So that's a really nice bag. So let's say on five stars, I would say uh, a good 4.2. 4 4.2? Yeah. A solid 4.2. To the audience, would you say buy it or don't buy it? <laughs> I would say buy it. Honestly, this is the best bag mm. I ever had for a camera. Okay. Because it's comfortable, it's compact. It looks cool, you know, just, yeah. you know what I mean, like, tag. <laughs> it looks easy, you look mm. like really professional, yeah. I like it. Okay, so that was my Peak Design Everyday Sling 5 liter bag review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to buy this bag, uh, I have a link in the description box. Just send me the money. Yeah, and let me also know if you know of any similar bags or do you have a bag that you really like? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.